today I'm going to show you my setup tour of Pop OS. This is totally a noobs review because I have been using Linux for a week now. It's my first Linux distro. I choose Pop OS because there were a lot of great reviews, and man, that's I can totally agree with that. So let's go with the version that I've been using. 20.04 LTS. I've installed this in my old laptop. It's pretty old. It has 4 gigs of RAM, Intel 4 Gen processor with 4 cores, and GeForce 820M graphics card. Let me run you through the settings. So, at default, it could not find my Wi Fi driver, so I had to manually install the Wi Fi driver just to let you know. Network, Bluetooth, experience. So, it has quite a range of wallpapers to choose from appearances it has a light mode and a dark mode so you light mode i prefer dark mode just a reminder guys black lives matters notifications sharings sound power it's pretty much all stand stuffs here printer homeware reason and language users default application date and time so and these buttons pop os only comes with the close button so i had to install genome tweaks to add these two buttons here for minimize otherwise we have to always right click and minimize the windows just to let you know and for the windows i installed as to dock just to manage my apps here just uh, so that I could single click and open them otherwise I always had to press the windows key or the activities button over here which I had now kept hidden from a genome save extension as well so these are the workspaces and this is the window it has a great tiling feature as well so if you have a thing open and if you open another file so it manages your applications like this so it's a great to have feature and pop os is totally based on ubuntu so anything that runs on ubuntu can run over here it's great for gaming and it uses flat packs as standard packs mm, please guys i'm totally noob so anything if i have misspoken please don't mind those things <laughs> so let's go through the apps that i have been using it came with Firefox but Brave is my browser of choice calculator calendar contacts files so let's show you the file manager it's a standard GNOME file manager here it's nothing that fancy Gear is the email manager office library office pops up so it's the app store for the OS where you can download any software if you don't want to use the terminal or afraid you can just click on install and install anything you want but now I'm totally used to the terminal as well productivity is the game photo editor current live video editor and visual studio code Rambox this is a great app it manages all my messaging apps settings this is the screen recorder I have been using, simple screen recorder, system, Dix uses analysis, Dix input method, language and setup, NVIDIA X server, this is the driver, application, password management, power statistics, startup application, and system monitor, this is the my hard disk and the users, resources for course, 4 gigs of RAM, 2.3 gigs being consumed, so network processes all your running apps over here. It uses 1.3 gigs of RAM at idle, so it's not a lightweight distribution by any means, but it's pretty good. And the terminal this is the stock terminal, so you can change how it looks from here. So you can see the windows tiling feature running up and again it says everything from here but i like it how it is text editor utilities archive manager character map document scanner 
dog women fear headaches tensions for everything like that to dogs and all the stuff spawns help image fever screenshot text info tweaks so from this genome tweaks i was able to install the minimize button us swift plaza videos and weather PD, plc media player for any media consumption and zoom for my online classes so coming from windows it has been a great experience it runs pretty smooth even in these old hardware specs man i'm really loving this operating system and this fox at system 76 has have done a great work with this distribution so this is the notification portion where my calendar is synced with my gmail so you can see the tasks i have to perform for the day here is the do not disturb switch and here is my sound control no, mic control screen brightness manager my wi-fi battery percentage and the power setting here works really good the, you can choose between integrated graphics and video graphics and hybrid graphics what the hybrid graphics does it, it chooses what the graphics cards should be used for the running programs so it's totally like ai i guess battery life balanced and high performance it has really good power optimization as well settings lock and this is for the turn of the machine so guys that was it i guess that was all the things i knew about this distribution press the like button if you like the video and please do subscribe this is my first youtube video so please don't mind my language because it's not my first language i am totally a student of english and see you guys at the next one thank you for watching the video